Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Jotor Plays Assassin's Creed Origins, episode 70. And this is pretty much the prologue. This is the end. Officially the end. And so, because it's the end, I do have some quests that I gotta uh, take care of here. And I mean, well, they're all dead. Um, but we're not going to do those quests. I am after particular sets of uh, places, and that's it's going to be tombs and the like if we have any left so that's going to be pretty hard to figure out because you can't zoom out and then find one thing I don't think it's so anyway because they all start disappearing as you zoom out further see <clears throat> But eventually we're going to get these these hideouts and kill all those uh, elephant guys. That one down there was one with two of them. Two of them. Can you believe it? Freaking two. Okay, so this is one right here. Yeah. <clears throat> And we've already been to that one, but we didn't finish it because we couldn't do it, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. We did this one. We did that one. We did all three of these. Were there any other pyramids? Not as big as those, but... I want to say there's more, but, you know, whatever. I guess not. I think it would have been interesting if there were, like, tombs around here. Or, like, uh, tombs out here. That would be cool. But that doesn't appear to be a thing. Even like in Crocodilopolis, you know, you'd think, hey, it would be cool. Nope. So I think that's the only one. Yeah, I think that's the only one left. There aren't any more. I mean, we did. We did all of them. Except for that one. And it's not because we didn't try. Obviously. So let's try it. Let's go down there. Um, where's the best place to spawn in at? I guess Hermopolis would be a good place to start. Okay. And we're gonna go there, but we have to reach it by going there. Okay, horse. 
Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I actually have some new gear. How about that? We got lightning strike. So this is uh, this is pretty pretty bad. But I don't know. I think I might stick with the ash bow. Although there's a light bow. It's more damage per second, but those are like really fast. I think. I can't remember. But then there's these. Warrior bows. And I'm thinking actually these ones are the fast one. Oh no, they, they spread. That's right. It's like the equivalent of a... Of a, a shotgun. Predator bows... They do some more damage, but I'm I'm really wondering like how do these work? You better not miss, madman. Hey. Okay, they're instant. So what about what about the light bows? Oh, see, yeah. Um, so... I guess... We're gonna stick with the Predator bows. Because they have more damage. I also got a few new awesome uh, mounts. We already had Quay. Oh, wait. Did we? Yeah, I think so. There's Midnight Sun, it's an awesome horse. There's the Abyssal Steed, and it's wreathed in flames. And there's this one. He's a he's a legendary mount. It's a guy that I got already. So, and I also got some new stuff, which is cool. Specifically the mummy. I like the mummy. Yeah. Put that hood up. Ooh. Menacing. Oh, yeah. Final craft. No more crafting available. No can do. No more. Also, we got some new weapons. We got Hercules, Her 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 Hercules Gladius. Which does... 410 damage a second, same as the Ultima Blade. I guess that's a maximum for swords. That that kind of sword. And then you have these. Which, I mean, I like this. I like the fact that there's bleeding on it. Um, then there's Aruna. Like, they're all bleeding on hit, and they're cool. We got dual swords. But I guess nothing's gonna be as well I guess they are actually. I was expecting like more more damage. So that's uh I don't know. And then I got new stuff here. Zedric doesn't have much. Sleep on block. That's pretty legendary. So yeah. I think I'm satisfied with what I got here. We're gonna get rid of this horse now. Yeah, now look at that. Isn't that a sight? Is he fast though? That's the question. And also, does he lamp my way in the middle of the night? I like how no one's really paying attention. There's a fiery horse. Nope, no one cares. Oh, 
stop. <laughs> ah, shut up. So we have to go in. here I knew it was too much who dare attack me Off the horse. What did this say? Who are all who enter for here lies sm Smintker? Living are the forms of Re? The hell? Ah, yeah. What I do remember is avoiding. No, no, I had to jump down. Gotta jump down. Then we go over here. And then we come up. Or wait. Do we? No, we go over here. Uh, nope. Never mind. I, I totally went the wrong direction. What about over this way? Ah, yes. This is the direction we're going. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, doing this twice... Yeah, we go over here. We run and jump over here. And then... We jump onto this. Jump. Jump. Yes. And then we jump over here, jump onto this thing, and then we bloop. All right, we're here. There's probably gonna be guys here again. They will attack on sight here. Yep. Oh no, you found me. Cross through here. This is where I got lost. Wait. What? This was completely open before. No. Oh wait, no, it's down here. Yeah. See, how the heck do I get down there? There's no obvious way. As I slide right off of those things. Hmm. I don't know. See, I don't normally do this. But I have to find a way. I have to find a way. And it's obviously... Nowhere around here. So I will be back in just a few moments.
Okay, so I believe it's a pool down here. So if I just jump, not over to the sides, but straight out, I should be, yep. Oh, that didn't look like water at all. Just be honest. But we got all of them. So I am satisfied. Two. Got one over here. It's one I fell by a few times earlier. And up we go. This is the last one, by the way. Once we do this, there's going to be no more of them. Well, I accidentally activated it. Well, that's good. It has been 99 days since the Great Catastrophe. The messenger speaks. On the 21st day of December 2012, Desmond activated the Global Aurora Borealis device and protected the Earth from the sun's deadly coronal mass ejection. On the 21st day of December 2012, humanity carried on without a care in the world. People went to work, people went to school, and people went to the well for water. On the night of December 21st, 2012, as the sun set on their days, Humankind went to bed. Then on the morning of December 22nd, 2012, humankind was graced with yet another morning. They never knew that on the previous day, the world almost ended. We thought that would have been enough. Well, they don't know about it. And it was, until it wasn't. Time is unyielding. It always corrects itself. The language of time works in many ways, two of which you can understand, as you are now. Linear continuity is a simulation that allows for variations. Within the linear continuity, there are nodes. Choke points. Moments where algorithms converge the flows of superposed possibilities to a single moment where only one absolute truth is possible. Paths are fluid. Continuous. Nodes are static. Changeless. And the wave function collapses the paths into nodes which branch out, again and again, and again. And so I wonder, can you feel the wave collapsing, trying to course correct Desmond's act of defiance? The incoming node needs the world to end. The algorithms have been carving the flow of possibilities towards that end for over 100 years now. A labyrinth of trenches filled with mud and mustard gas. Families cowering in fear as V2s vaporize their dwellings. Fire born from the bellows of the Los Alamos Laboratory, fueling global catastrophes. The Serpikov 15 incident of 1983. 
the Doomsday Clock, tucked away in an office at the University of Chicago, its needle moving as the years go. The node is near. Perhaps you knew. Perhaps you felt it too. That the world is closing in on you. Or maybe not. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, what is that? That's my horse. Come hither, horse. Whoa. Yeah. See, now if you were the only horse that would not want to swim in water, I would understand. Because you're on fire. But all the other ones, they have no excuse. Uh, you want some? Ow. <laughs> yep, you're dead. Get back here, horse. Okay. Now, I'm rather curious. So we'll go here. This unlocked after the end of the main story. And so I'm curious. A little curious as to if there's anything interesting or new in here. So we got these. Anachoros, an admiral in Cleopatra's navy. Foxitis was a wealthy owner of a fleet of ships and its crew who's pledged his loyalty to Cleopatra. He was loyal to Cleopatra's father, although he found Ptolemy Alutz to be a rather boorish man. Or Aletus. He was a soldier in his youth, but retired into great wealth and used his money to fund his fleet of ships. Okay. Da, 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 da. Anything interesting at all? There are many stone circles in the world. They seem to be connected with the Sphinx in some way. Oh, really? The four war elephants are the toughest opponent one can encounter. All the flags in Rome. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where's the Sphinx? Is that the Sphinx? Where's the dang Sphinx at? I I don't I don't know. Somewhere in here? Cause I could have sworn. Was it up here? Ah! We have one left! Yes! We're going to the Great Sphinx now. Son of a bee! We're gonna find a way into this one. If it kills me. Okay, so where is the Sphinx at? Somewhere's over here. Connected to the Sphinx somehow, eh? Well, first I gotta find the Sphinx. It's somewhere around her. Ah! Hello! The Great Sphinx. It is smaller than I expected. Yeah. Is that a child? Okay, so somehow I gotta go that direction. 
And I believe it has something to do Hidden with entrance. going into here. How long here. has this been here? I remember doing everything that needed to be done in here. But I don't remember there being another area. Ah, a dead end. Does not make sense. Oh, there must be a way forward. Well, there's a way forward. So I went down here. Pretty sure. <clears throat> or did I go over here? Yeah, I went over here. Then I went down here. <clears throat> As I was trying to find oh, it's really dark in here. Hey, moon. What is this? I don't remember having access to this. Oh wait, I did. That's right, okay. I came in here and I was like, hey, what am I doing? I wonder if I can light these. Ooh. Oh God. Oh, shit. Have to repair that. Come on, light it the rest of the way. Yep, oh, oh. So I interact with it. Ah, oh, nice. This is the last one. What the heck? What's in there? This is not Egyptian. No, it's not, Bayek. <clears throat> oh. Good thing they have the little teleporty thingies. Finally, we're doing this one. And as always, there are these to collect. Camera just clipped in there. So I found two, and there's like three more. Ah, there's just one over here. Oh, oh, I heard the two. The last one up here. Uh. No, but I heard it. <laughs> when I was over here. being two. Where 
Where is it? Is it up here? Is it hidden somewhere? Oh, I don't hear it now, so it must be back here somewhere. But where? Where do you hide a thing like that? Wasting my time trying to find it. I got plenty. So up we go. Let's do this. Place 50. Oh, I have plenty. Retransmission. Segment 6. Acquiring contemporary. It has been 109 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Wake up. Not from a dreamless sleep or an absence of light, but from a reality that will soon cease to be. Wake up. Is that a wormhole? The next chapter is unstoppable. And yet, the greatest revolutions sometimes originate from the confines of impossibility, do they not? Change your mind, subvert your perception, stop this world, bend it into something new. Destiny is not without irony. Here I am, imploring a lesser version of myself to do what I could never do. In this timeless moment, you and I are a bridge, both of us from different eras meeting halfway at the narrowing of the hourglass in this ocean of sand. Oh, okay. It is not enough to tell time. You must learn time. To work with your shielding this is a slave. And in so doing, escape the inescapable. Fill in the blanks. The ones hiding between words. Between worlds. Find the spaces that we could not erase. The variables that ended up erasing us. If you do not, they will erase you as well. Time told of a story that ended with us, and now it tells of a story that ends with you. Once upon a time, a new story will begin. What? After the functions which run our days have scattered into an array of random numbers. We found solace in order. We thought it would help us rule the world. We were wrong. Order never served us. It has kept us within the code, within the boundaries. We were tricked into thinking we were the ones writing the rules when they were in fact guiding us to our conclusion. You need to transgress. You of all people understand the value of disobeying. That's right. Take an unexpected turn away from the path that is drawn straight ahead of you. The Anus was humankind's first unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see. Understanding genetic memories, an eye into history. But the Anus bears a fatal flaw. It follows the rules from those who embrace order, just as we do. It allows you to witness, but not alter. Your Animus is different, as is the mind that imagined it. It could escape the code. It could do that leap and make possible a decision that defies the order of things that are. Really? Wake up. Be the chaos that comes to be. Gods are just like you and me. What's with this rhyming? 
remember. Nothing is real. Everything is permitted. Hmm. That sounds really similar to Assassin's Creed. Just saying. Just a saying. Oh, that's cool armor. That's really cool. Alright, that's it. Not very many missions left. There's a few that I could grab, but... I mean, that's it. That's all she wrote. So, I think I'm going to end the video here. Maybe we'll revisit Assassin's Creed in a future time. But until then, until then, I think. What? I think this is it. I don't know why I didn't use these until now. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Hey, buddy. Predator Bow would have made a lot of things easier. And I can imagine it's going to make fighting those elephants possibly easier? I don't know. But I've went a little too long on this video. So you guys have a wonderful day. And again, maybe we might come back to this game. Maybe not. I may have to find a game, another one to play. So stay tuned on the channel. You never know what will be released and when. Because I don't have a schedule yet. Although I don't have very many people watching my videos either. So, get on that. Goodbye.